Hey guys, Bump here. Today I'm going to share with you three different tips and tricks for removing a brass cleanout plug from a cast iron sewer cleanout. And actually, once we get this guy removed, I'm going to go ahead and replace it with a uh, rubber flush mount mechanical cleanout. It should make it a lot easier to uh, gain access to this guy in the future. I won't be dealing with the uh, the rusted, stuck uh, brass plug there. Uh, be sure to check out the uh, video description below. I'll put a, a link to this uh, to this clean out plug and some of the other um, items that we're going to use to to get this guy unstuck. All right, so let's head over to to look at some of the tools and uh, we're going to need for this project. So here's a quick look at some of the tools that we're going to use to uh, to get this clean out plug removed. So the first is my my large plumbing wrench. I've already actually tried to remove it with just this by itself. Uh, it was unsuccessful, so. That's why we're moving on to some of the more advanced techniques, if you will. Got a smaller uh, plumbing wrench here, a uh, wire brush, flathead screwdriver, hammer, uh, propane torch, and uh, liquid wrench penetrating oil. Uh, liquid wrench is my preferred penetrating oil. There's a lot out there on the market. Uh, also, if you're interested in, in what you might think would be the best penetrating oil, is a pretty interesting video I'll put in a uh, a link to it in the description below from uh, Project Farm. He did a really cool side-by-side uh, -side comparison test on a bunch of different uh, uh, penetrating oils and actually this guy Liquid Wrench uh, performed the best. Uh, didn't know that before the video but that's been my preferred choice just by, by chance. And then uh, also a breaker bar or a uh, one inch piece of steel pipe is going to be beneficial to you. Uh, so all right, let's, uh, let's get going with the first tip. So the first tip we're going to use is actually using heat, in this case a propane torch. Uh, of course I'm using this outdoors. If you're using this indoors, uh, you want to be very careful. Uh, use a heat shield. If you've got any uh, area that's uh, of concern that you might hit with the propane torch. But what we're going to do is we're going to heat this up just around the outside edge, right where the brass meets the cast iron. And you're going to do that evenly around the outside edge. Uh, we're not going to get that white hot but you're just going to continue to uh, to heat that up and we're going to use our plumber's wrench uh, to uh, to try to, to remove that once again. All right, so we're back here. Uh, I continue to heat up that brass cap uh, evenly around the outside edge and then I tried again with my plumber's wrench and I was not able to get the cap off. So we're going to move on to our second method, which is the use of a penetrating oil. In this case, it's a liquid wrench is what we're going to use. Uh, now before applying the penetrating oil, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take our flathead screwdriver and we're going to dig in around that outside edge and remove all that rust and grime and dirt. And then uh, probably should just follow up real quickly with a, a wire brush to do that. And then after uh, we get all that removed, we're going to follow through and uh, apply the penetrating oil around the outside edge of that. Now if you're applying the penetrating oil, uh, liquid wrench in this case, uh, you don't want to do that when the cap is hot. I know we showed us heating that earlier, but uh, with this being flammable, you want to wait for that to cool off. And then we're going to spray that down in around the outside edge evenly. Don't be afraid to use a bunch. Let it soak in there. And then you want to let this sit for at least 30 minutes. Uh, in my case, I'm not in a real big hurry of getting this guy off, so I'm going to actually... Uh, let this sit 24 hours and reapply the penetrating oil uh, as, I, as I find time and then that will come back and uh, see if that helps us get this cap removed. Alright now we're back here the next day. I've, I've reapplied the penetrating oil, the, the liquid wrench, uh, two or three times over the past 24 hours uh, really to give that, uh, give that time for the liquid wrench to uh, to set in and do its do its job, uh, penetrating that rust and breaking it down. Uh, so I've already tried with my my large breaker bar, and again was unsuccessful with it. Uh, it's starting to dig in and wear into the teeth of my plug there. Uh, it's just not fitting well. So actually, in this case, uh, we're going to move on to our third tip and trick, which is to use leverage. So actually, with my my smaller uh, pipe wrench, it actually fits on there a little better. What we're going to do is uh, take a, a breaker bar, uh, and this one actually fits my, my smaller uh, plumber's wrench. And we're going to apply some leverage, get an additional 
uh, looks like about two foot or so of leverage here and uh, see if we can get this guy removed. Alright so as you can see we were successful here unfortunately I wasn't able to uh, to capture that on video it still took a little bit of a uh, might and uh, in both my arms couldn't do that and don't have a tripod with me today so uh, went ahead and uh, got this guy off uh, as you can see here I got a big boy this thing is completely unusable uh, so we are again going to replace that with the uh, the, the flush mount sewer cap uh, so let me get this guy opened up and uh, get it installed so we've got our replacement cap here and it comes with the uh, the allen wrench needed to uh, to remove and uh, tighten this guy so when you turn the little uh, allen head uh, bolt in the middle there uh, it actually compresses this assembly which uh, presses down this gasket and expands it uh, to give uh, the, the tightening effect inside of our our pipe there so uh, let's go ahead and get this guy set down on here and uh, it's as simple as that so as you can see this guy's loose on here now so I'm just gonna tighten up the allen wrench hit in the center tighten this guy up it's got it pretty snug and now it's it's completely sealed and it's not going anywhere uh, to remove it we simply unscrew loosen that up and it pops right off so make a uh, gaining access to this guy breeze if we need to 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 snake out the sewer lines in the in the future uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to uh, click thumbs up down below and subscribe and uh, have a good day.